and I am back with another review of a Kamen Rider Ryuki figure. This is Ryuki Blank. And Ryuki, but Ryuki Blank is one we're reviewing. Ryuki Blank was a Tamashi Nation's 2007 exclusive. And it comes in a very boring box. It has no window, like the other boxes do, and it has no pictures of the actual figure, just this silhouette. Um, so that's boring. Ryuki is a repaint with a slight remold of Ryuki. Um, as you can see, it's a it's a nice little navy blue color. Um, everything about it is the same except for the the belts, the advent deck rather, where his is blank and has no contract monster. His has Ryuki on it. Uh, likewise, the top of the helmets or masks, this one is blank and this one has Ryuki on it. And finally, the, uh, what you call it, the visor. This is a blank visor. Clearly, it's going to, it's the same style as the Ryuki visor, which slides open that way. This one slides open this way as well. But this one is also clearly a dragon, and this one is not. And that's pretty much the difference is everything else is the same between the two figures. Um, articulation is the same great Ryuki body articulation. Um, he has uh, several accessories. He has this Ryuki visor. I don't know what it's really called. Probably blank visor, actually. He has punching things hands and groping things hands and relaxed hands. And he has uh, two different types of holding things hands, weapon hands. These are the holding the sword straight up and down hand, or the holding the sword angled slightly forward hands. And then he also has a pair of unique molded hands, or unique, anyway, they're different. <clears throat> this one has a much tighter grip and is meant for holding the visor. And let's go ahead and see if I can get this on right now. It's kind of a little bit of a pain to put on because the grip is very tight and you gotta push this in past the thumb and there now it's in and his other unique hand is a card holding hand let's swap these on you'll notice that Ryuki Blank this is how it came out of the package it does not have a port cover for this side it did not come with one when I realized that wasn't on there, I went looking around my floor for 10 or 15 minutes trying to find the port that I had dropped. Um, and eventually I went and looked up online and saw pictures of other people's, and he just he didn't come with it. So, there he is with the visor. And let's move these hands out of the way a little bit. And give him his card-holding hand. Uh, unlike all of my other Ryuki figures, excepting Ryuki himself, I opened the advent cards, despite their tininess. Let's see if I can pick one up. That's why I have tweezers, and it's not going to work anyway. There we go. He comes with three cards, and I just dropped it. He comes with seal. Let's go ahead and see if we can stick that one in there. Now I'm at the wrong angle, I can't see. There we go. So now Ryuki can protect himself, or Shinji can protect himself from Drag Rider. Who is wrapped up in a plastic bag, so I'm not going to grab him right now. He also comes with Sword Vent. And I dropped it again. I hate these cards. I love that it comes with the cards, and they are plastic. And so they're probably, or at least plastic coated, they're, they're durable, but they're... So, look at my clumsy... Fat fingers, I can't hold on to them very well. Anyway, this is Sword Vent, which summoned Shinji a sword. Which, the first time he used it to attack a spider, it broke. So it comes with broken pieces as well. That's cool. And the final card is also the most plain, but you would say it's also the most important, because it is a blank contract card. Uh, oh, killed him. So Ryuki used this blank card to forge a contract with Drag Redder, 
and then became in a neat little morph sequence Ryuki. And that's Ryuki Blank. Um, not a ton of extra accessories or unique accessories. Really the only unique things are his different visor and the sword. Swords. Everything else is repaint from Ryuki. But um, I rather like the show and I really love the Ryuki figure arts body. Just the posability is amazing. He can um, he can put the card into the card holder, the visor rather. There is a way to do it. I don't remember exactly how, but you really can angle this in to get it pretty close. At least close enough uh, approximation. Of course, this should be sword by sword bent rather than the blank contract card, but. Uh, what else can this figure do? Let's pop this hand off and put it in the sword holding hands that I've dropped all over the place. The Ryuki body can two hand the sword. Maybe I have the light up a little too bright. Um, anyway, so I really like the show and I really like again this figure arts body so I think it was totally worth getting this figure even though it is you know 97% a repaint but look you can hold the sword Let's see if I can turn the light down just a little bit a little too much too much I don't know just focus this is not gonna work this camera is hard to use a little brighter come on a little brighter Anyway, um, this figure was around 2,000, 2,500 yen on Mandarake. It's not high in demand. I don't know if they made a ton of them that didn't sell at Tamashii Nations, and so they dumped them all on Mandarake, or if just it's not, it's not a necessary figure. I mean, if you want a Ryuki figure, you need the main Ryuki, not blank, because Ryuki comes with the drag with Drag Rider. But if you're a fan of the body like I am, or a big fan of the show, then it's it's not a bad little figure to have. It is different enough for me. It is a variation on the Ryuki suit, enough to make me happy to have it, to go along with Ryuki, and Ryuki Survive, which if I had not left it at work, I would have brought it to display with these two. So anyway, Ryuki Survive talked too long already, but again, I recommend it, but it's not for everybody. Thanks for watching.